Let's play the song. The song has two sharp, F sharp and C sharp. The time signature is 12 over 8. Starting with right hand D note, dotted quarter note, which is a three count in this music. Let's go slow. One, two, play. D, two, three, D, two, three, D, two, three, D, two, three. Both hands together, left hand B chord, right hand B and D. One, two, three. Now this time, if you look at the first note, right hand B bottom note was dotted a half note, and D is dotted quarter note, two different values. Now the bottom note is longer, six count, and top note is a three count. So how you gonna do? You have to keep holding the bottom note, thumb. So it's just changing only the D. One, two, three, that's how you're gonna do. And the next the left hand is G chord, right hand plays the same note. One, two, three, same again, holding the bottom B and change the D again. One, two, three. Next measure, left hand D, right hand just simple D again. One, two, three, one, two, three, left hand A, right hand C sharp and D. One, two, three, but you have to hold the C sharp, keep holding it and then changing top D again. One, two, three. Moving on to the next line, left hand B again, the same chord. Right hand B and D. One, two, three. Now, melody line comes in. This top F sharp with pinky start melody line. F, E, E. While you're playing this note, you have to keep holding the song. F, E, E. Left hand is G chord. Right hand B and E. comes to D. One, two, three. Right hand. One, two, three. And left hand A chord. Right hand C sharp and D. One, two, three. One, two, three. Same as beginning again. The very first line again. Left hand B chord. Right hand B and D. comes up back again. F, E, E, left hand G chord, right hand B and E. E, E, F, E, D, D. Hold it because it's tight again. Left hand comes at the first beat. D chord. One, two, three. Right hand. One, two, three. Left hand A chord. Right hand C sharp and D again. One, two, three. D, two, three. Left hand B and F sharp. Right hand B and D. One, two, three. Melody line comes on B, B, C sharp, D. Left hand G chord. Right hand B and G. One, two, and then. Now, do you see the 16th note? Means half count. So you have to play two 16th notes in three. Three, three, see it? Three, one, two, three. Left hand, one, two, three. Right hand D, one, two, three. Left hand, A chord again, right hand C sharp D. One, two, three. and D. One, two, three. Right hand F sharp. E, E. Left hand G chord. 
right hand, B and E. While you're playing this melody line, your thumb has to keep holding it because it's a six count. So you have to hold that for one, two, three, four, five, six. Do you see it? And then left hand comes one, two, three, and right hand plays D. One, two, three. Left hand A chord, right hand C sharp and D again. One. on C sharp and D right hand. Left hand goes to D chord. One, two, three. This is a chord. One, two, three. Right hand and A and D. One, two, three. This is melody line starts again. D, E, F. Left hand F sharp. This is a different chord. Now, so far, we have been playing B, G, D, A, but this is the first time to play in a different chord, which is F sharp chord. F sharp and C sharp left hand. Right hand plays C sharp again. C sharp, B, two, left hand. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then tied it to the next beat. Left hand falling on G. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two count rest. And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. The rest. Comes on the third beat, but is one count rest. This is eighth note. Eighth rest, actually. One, two, three, C sharp and D. One, two, three, one, two, one, and comes D, left hand D chord again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, F sharp chord, C sharp and right hand. Next to confusing complex rhythm. We went over in theory. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. To count rest. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's the rest. Third beat. Right hand, D and E, but you have to keep holding E. One, two, three. Replace it. One, two, three. That's how you do. Moving on to the next line. Left hand, B chord. Right hand, A, D, F sharp. One, two, three. Right after three because it's tied to the first, the third beat. So one, two, three. One. Right 
you keep holding these two notes, top two notes, F sharp and A, and replace the bottom again. One, two, three, left hand A chord, right hand C sharp and D. One, two, three, C sharp, B, C sharp, and comes to B minor chord, and B and D. One, two, three, D, oh, oh, right hand. Bottom note is chord, top note is melody. So you have to keep holding the thumb. One, two, three. Left hand G chord, right hand, D and G. Use finger number one and two, that's easier. One, two, and then you can switch to two, three or four, it really doesn't matter. I use three because it's easier. Three, one, two, 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 three. Two, three. Left hand B chord, right hand the same note. One, two, three. Right hand melody lines again. F, E, E. Left hand G chord. to the next beat, left hand comes one, two, three. Right hand now comes A and D. Here is the thing. Left hand has to keep holding it, but what? If we don't leave it, we cannot play right hand, so just leave it. One, two, three, but still you have to keep holding the bottom pinky. You leave, but one, two, three, and leave at the same time and go to left hand A chord, right hand A, D, E. One, two, three, A. And then the third B, the, I mean the very last one. One, two, three. Next measure, left hand D chord, right hand D again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
what is after three. So one, two, three. You see your right hand and tie. And your right hand, left hand actually comes on the D. One, two, three. And the next to beat. One, two, three. And left hand, A chord. Right hand, E, A, C sharp. hold it because it's a tied to the next measure note. Left hand comes D. One, two, three. Right hand D. Two, three. Left hand A chord. Right hand C sharp and D. One, two, three. One, two, three. Left hand D chord. Right hand B and D. has fermata little lines with underneath that that means hold it twice or three times longer if it's two times longer then it will be 24 what about if we do three times longer 36 means pretty long you have to hold it and let it go 